Hi, everybody, and welcome back to the Black Christian Geeks, Linux and more. <clears throat> uh, I had initially uh, promised and planned to do all of my configurations on my Manjaro workstation, which I'm on now. I use Fedora 35 on a different partition for the entire month of February, but can't came back home. To Manjaro Arch and KDE, but anyway, I'm I'm going to show you all some of the configurations I use. But in order to be productive, I have preloaded uh, some things logged in as my main user, not this user that I use for demos. But one of the first things I generally do is um, right click, come under configure desktop and wallpaper, and this is one of the things I like about. Manjaro is a little bit easier to configure than it was on Endeavor. I ran Endeavor for several months, six, eight months uh, for most of last year. But a couple of things I couldn't get worked out brought brought me back <coughs> to Manjaro. And the past few weeks, I, I've been uh, pleased to be back. But anyway, uh, from here, I select picture of the day course you can select any of the pre-installed wallpapers and this is my opportunity to speak to I, I watch other reviewers who always praise and talk about how good wallpaper look seldomly does any default wallpaper necessarily looks good to me so when you select anything you have to click apply to see the changes in the background that that's a nice uh, subtle look but uh, one of the things I like about, <clears throat> excuse me, picking picture of the day. And for the most part, I use Bing. I actually use this on my Android uh, tablet, on my Windows workstation. And I actually had a plug in on my GNOME, on my GNOME workstation that, that would bring in the Bing picture of the day. This one is... Um, pretty Spartan and basic, but it does change day to day depending on what what they feed. But when you see here for a provider, uh, a couple of things I like about uh, KDE Plasma as a desktop option. I have two monitors here now. Here, you know, to the left, I actually have uh, my actual HP laptop, and here I have my external monitor that I'm uh, recording your screen from. I could have two different backgrounds on the multiple monitors I have. They don't have to have the same thing. Likewise, you could select uh, Flickr, you click Apply, and it goes out and it brings in a different f feed. So this is the, the Flickr picture of the day and National Geographic is another one. Sometimes National Geographic goes goes back and they pull in um, historical pictures and, and they're very diverse as you can see here with, with the pictures uh, that they bring up. I did a recording uh, on Martin Luther King Day back in January that had Dr. King and some of his uh, supporters they're there in the background and I'll show another one in this example uh, Wikimedia that'll go out and that's a beautiful rainbow and the picture literally when it says uh, picture of the day generally the picture will will change from day to day I, I usually don't do the the weather or uh, the earth science or the um astronomy pictures because it's just generally of space but if that's your thing primarily i stick with bing and tomorrow by default it'll be a different picture so i'll just stick with the basics for the day but one of the things i absolutely love about the kde plasma <clears throat> desktop is the versatility of being able to change the background and the ease of which to be able to do something like this of course of course you could uh upload your your own pictures just the same 
uh, if you chose instead of the picture of the day, you could select slideshow and you can uh, load your own pictures up here and those pictures would change accordingly. But for right now, I'm just stick with the picture of the day. Again, I'm Richard L. Scott, the Black Christian Geek. Thank you for watching Linux and more. If you like what you saw, consider giving uh, me a thumbs up, subscribing to the channel and um, come back. Thanks for visiting and God bless.